If you are a fan of vintage cars, then this one is for you. Today we are hanging out at Lisbota, where Macau Vintage Car Shows is happening. Let's get closer and check out some of the cars making appearance. have one of the owners of um, the vintage cars on this show here we want to have one-on-one -on -one with him to um, give us an insight of this car he owns this car uh, sir welcome to the program uh, thank you uh, so what's your name uh, my name is Chen yeah. can Chen. you tell us a bit about this car How this car was uh, produced in 1994 1994 yeah okay. I own I own it in night in 2010 Okay. That means uh, 11 years. 11 years. Yes. The car was produced before you uh, acquired it. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So, uh, actually, this model was uh, produced in 1990. Okay. Yeah, but at that time, it was so popular. All but right. I have no money to buy. Okay. So instead, later on, I buy it uh, second hand. Okay. Uh, I think it's a long story. For example, every Every individual treated the classic car or vintage car yeah. as different uh, approach. Mm -hmm. For example, just like if you buy a, a vintage car in 1950s, 1960s, actually you want to keep everything as original as possible. But uh, considering the age of this car is only 20 some years and actually is quite usable and we can treat it as a daily drive. Okay. So quite a lot of this maintenance is up to the standard now okay. but other than that the interior or the or the color theme or something like that it depends on the individual okay. for example I when I paint it in this color everyone asks instead of red why you put it this color so low profile I think this color I like this color yeah, okay. but, but actually the gray is in this recent years the gray color is getting more and more popular okay. in Macau especially the Mercedes and Audi are producing what the what they call the cement brew uh -huh. uh, gray or something like that okay. so you do drive this all every day or you keep uh, special occasions special occasions okay. uh, it's a weekend drive or something like that that's fantastic that's fantastic yeah so mr chan right yeah all right so we have mr chan here he is one of the owners of the vintage car on this show thank you for Folks, we have another owner of the vintage car available on the show. Um, welcome to the program, sir. What's your name? Um, my name's Jamie. Jamie. Yes. Okay, Jamie. Um, can you please tell us about your car? Uh, so this is a, a 1979 uh, Datsun. 1979 Datsun. Yes. Okay. So 280CX. Uh, so uh, Japanese known as uh, the S130. X1. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's a uh, one of the four. Uh, 280CX in Macau. Mm -hmm. uh, mine is a uh, uh, auto transmission, okay. uh, which is uh, uh, and it's uh, the only only flat top in Macau. Right. So right. we don't. So unfortunately, this, this guy is actually one of a kind in Macau here. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's beautiful. Yes. So unfortunately, we don't have a, a manual. Yeah. Uh, this is the best we can have. I see. Yes. How long have you owned this car? I own this car for three, maybe four years now. Three, four, four years. years yeah. Okay. I restore it from an old garage. Uh, like when Ooh. I pull it out, it's a junk. Actual junk. Actual junk. junk. Actual junk. I can show you the picture. I see. Okay. Yeah. This is uh, actually it's a present. present. It was a present that I present to my dad. That's beautiful. Yes. I'm sure he's a lucky man, man. For customization, I haven't done any like any like upgrade power uh, like horsepower upgrade okay. to it yet. I still want to maintain it as a like a like a reliable car. Okay. That's why I want. Okay. And uh, it has a uh, two thousand eight hundred. Uh, Emission, all right. Like so, uh, it's a quite a high emission car. But the horsepower is like uh, according to age, it only has a one 
135. As, I I, as far as I know, it's at 135. I see. I see. And the transmission, this is like, uh, like I mentioned, it's an auto, but oh. at that age, auto is still a uh, kind of a new technology. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, like, don't be surprised, it only has three speeds. How old is this car actually? Uh, 42 years. 42 years. 42 years. Yeah, 42 so years. At the age yeah. And the transmission. Oh, I mean, it's okay. it's I mean, I mean, at that age, like tra auto transmission is a new technology. It's a luxury. I see. It's a luxury. It's, so it's acceptable. It's acceptable. Yeah. What is your name? Kit. Kit. Okay, his name is Kit. Kit, uh, can you tell us about your car here? Uh, this one I buy from the 2017. When I buy this car, it's very old and it's very more thing need to repair. And okay, yeah. Yeah. You had problems when you many it. problems. Okay, and, and then, then you took it upon yourself to um, put it in the shape that it is now. Is. Uh, 直到直到其實架車一直都好多問題嘅,咁架車我一直係咁翻新維修,咁其實呢架車係好多修車住啦,it's very old and then it's more many problems and每一個車主都唔會去諗住去維修呢部車嘅,佢純粹係諗住揸完就算啦,就俾下手,揸完就算啦,就俾下手,咁一直都係處於呢個依拉黑車況咁嘅狀況。咁直到上一年 2020 years 就是就是 Yeah, so how long did it take you to fix it? I mean to bring it to the shape that it is now? One year One, one year, year and more One year, two months One year, two months? Yeah Wow, okay so, uh, nice. What makes you interested so much in this car? I mean, you are a young guy Yeah Why interest in um, vintage car? Because when I am small and when and when I was six, I, I, I'm born, born from 1993, and this one also, 1993. I see. Yeah, and then we are, we are the same century, and then I when, I, when I, it's more, I, so this car is born, born, okay, yeah, born. It, yeah, it, I, I, it makes sense. Yeah. He, and he was born in 1993. Yeah. Okay, and the car was made in 1993. Yeah. So that was your motivation to acquire this car. And then when I spoke small, I call he's very handsome and I don't know everything. I don't know he's Mitsubishi, I don't know his evolution. <laughs> and then I call so handsome, I just think... It well, is, well, it well, is well, a beautiful well, car. Yeah, when, I, when I go, I, 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 I need to buy one. That's beautiful, man. Yeah. This is interesting. I, I, just, I just like uh, his reason for purchasing this car. Because they have the same age. Man, thanks so much for, um, for talking to us. Your name is Keith, right? Yeah. Thanks for being on the program. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you. So hanging out at Lisbota where a uh, Macau Vintage Car Show is happening right now. And we are lucky to have president of the organizers of the show. Hi. Uh, what is your name? Eddie. Eddie? Yeah. Okay, Eddie. So uh, what is your motivation in gathering uh, vintage cars? Um, vintage cars is... Uh, I love vintage cars because I, I, I'm a, a super fan of the Hollywood movie. Okay. I like the action movie, the car chasing movie. Uh -huh. I want to be one of them. I see. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I you, you, I got this one, the Bumblebee. Okay, so let me get this yeah. straight. You took your motivation from watching American movies yeah. and the cast that they show. Yes. Okay, wow. Yes. That's fantastic. So, um, how many vintage cars have you acquired for yourself? Uh, right now it's seven. Seven? Yes. I see. Interesting. So, what is the goal? The goal is uh, because in Macau, it's uh, a little bit different from for Hong Kong or Japan or something like that because from a uh, 90 uh, 
until now, we cannot buy any second car in your Macau. Second hand cars? Yes. Okay, uh, so uh, it's, it's forbidden to bring second hand cars in Macau? Cannot. Okay. So the existing right now you see is that's all. So we, we I cannot buy an, another Camaro into Macau. Oh, I so, see. So we get to keep it. That's my goal. Yeah. Uh, so this is your idea of um, keeping the old cars in the system. Yes. Since you can't bring in um, new ones, as yes. you say, new old cars. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. So how yeah. long have you been doing this? Uh, for the MV, we like 10 years. 10 years? Yes. And how long do you, know, do you think you can keep going? Uh, 10 years, we start from the Facebook a small group and then we make the car gathering again and again. About three years ago, we registered the government, the, the association, and then we start to make more uh, casual, official casual, just like this. Okay. Yeah. No. How long do you intend on uh, continuing doing this? Oh, that's forever. Oh, I see. How, <laughs> how old is this car? It's the same as me, uh, 1978. 1978? Yeah. That was when this car was made. And <laughs> that was the year you were born. 1978. Ah, <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah, <laughs> that's beautiful. Sure. Yeah. So we have been talking to the president of the organizers of the Macau Vintage Car Show. Yeah, I bet you are thinking this is awesome, right? Well, now let's check out the newbies, the Hot Wheels.
Alright, alright. So that is that for today. My name is Adam and I am always happy to come your way with interesting things. Stick with us for the next level.